I need to remember to ask Tina for my sweatshirt tomorrow. I hope I don't forget. That one's my favorite. Remembering to do things is an important part of growing up. Hi, and welcome to Keys for Kids. I'm so glad that you're listening today. My name is Zach. If you have something to remember, how do you remind yourself? Do you write it down somewhere? Do you put a note up on the fridge? Or do you tie a string around your finger? When we celebrate communion at church, it should remind us of the sacrifice of Jesus. We eat a piece of bread and drink juice to reflect on his death and resurrection. 1 Corinthians 11.26 says, As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. So let's listen to our story for today. It's entitled, Tie a String. Mom, can you help me tie a string around my finger? Abby held out string and a pair of scissors. I never heard of it before, but Tina's grandma told us she used to tie a string around her finger to help her remember things. So this should help me remember to ask Tina to bring my sweatshirt to school tomorrow. All right, Mom smiled as she helped with the string. Now I hope you're ready for church. It's time to go. I'm ready, said Abby, and they were soon on their way. When they arrived at church, Abby looked for Tina, but her friend wasn't there. I'll just leave the string on my finger until after church, Abby thought. It will remind me to call Tina when I get home. That morning, Pastor Gates preached from the book of 1 Corinthians. The Lord knows we are forgetful people, Pastor Gates said, so he gave us a special way to remind us of what he's done for us. Abby smiled and twisted the string on her finger. Shortly before Jesus was betrayed, he and his disciples celebrated the Jewish Passover, Pastor Gates continued. At that time, Jesus established a special meal that we will share together today as a reminder of his sacrifice We call it the Lord's Supper or Communion. The bread reminds us of Jesus' body and how he suffered for us on the cross, and the grape juice reminds us of his blood which was shed for our sins. It's also a reminder that Jesus will return one day to end suffering and death in this world forever. I know all about needing reminders, Abby thought as she glanced at the string on her finger. When Abby arrived home from church, she called Tina to tell her she missed her in Sunday school and to remind her to bring the sweatshirt to school with her. I told her to tie a string around her finger so she wouldn't forget, Abby told her mom. I'm glad I can take this one off now. She removed the string from her finger. I'm sure glad God gave us a special way to remember what Jesus did for us, she said. It sure beats wearing a string around your finger. So what about you? Do you take part in the Lord's Supper, communion at your church? What do you think about during that time? Are you reminded that Jesus died to take the punishment for your sin? Do you remember that he's coming again to resurrect all Christians so they can live with him forever? Communion is a special time to remember what Jesus did for us and celebrate the promise of his return. Our key verse is 1 Corinthians eleven twenty four. Jesus said, Do this in remembrance of me. And our key thought for today, communion is a reminder of Jesus. Did you know that there are 1.9 billion kids around the world? Each one of them needs to hear about Jesus. And now you can tell them with the Keys for Kids Storyteller. These solar-powered audio Bibles hold a year's worth of Keys for Kids stories, perfect for you at home or to spread the gospel in other countries. It combines God's word and great stories with an adorable creature feature stuffed animal. Every purchase includes the cost to donate a storyteller to a child who doesn't know about being saved. Can you help just one other kid learn about Jesus? To learn more, go to keysforkids.org storyteller. I'm Zach. Thanks for listening to Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.